keep forgetting. I'm going senile. Hello everybody and welcome back to the epic world of PC gaming. My name is Mikey B and we'll be checking out and doing a let's play of a little game called Prison Architect. And I believe it's an alpha, yeah it says alpha 21c PC Steam, so obviously I'm playing it on Steam and all that shit. And I've got about 20 hours in this I say, I, I guess, and I'm... I pretty much love the game. It's awesome. But I haven't played it in about two weeks prior to recording this. So I'm going to start a brand new prison. Because I assume that they've updated and added some stuff in the meantime. Because of it being early access and all that stuff. So let's get on with it. And this will be probably an ongoing let's play of sorts. Because of uh, yeah, just the nature of the game. There's not really an end objective I don't think. Um... So yeah, let's create a new prison. Uh, we want a large prison just for the hell of it. Continuous intake. Um, if enabled, you will receive a random number of new prisoners every day forever. If you dis, if you dis, if disabled, you can choose when you are ready to receive new prisoners. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave that on. I think generate lakes. Random lakes will block sections of your land. Mm, I'll leave that off. Random derelict buildings will be left behind on your land, which you can use as you wish. That's interesting. We could do that. See what we get given. Um, or we could just start fresh, I guess. Um, yeah, we could do that. It'll sa it might save us a bit of money, and it'll be pretty cool to navigate around. Right, let's play this thing. Right, look at it. The oh, they're not they're not buildings. It's just a bit of wall. Shit, it's just a mess. Bollocks. Right, here comes our workforce on the way, and the first thing I normally do is make a massive foyer, or foyer, or however you want to say it and create the office buildings and what would lead on to be the cafeteria we've got 30k so yeah let's just build that a random square because I'll not I'll probably put the offices on that side offices on that side if there's enough room I'll put a visitor center in the middle and if you're entirely new here if you haven't got the gist of it by the name of the game and what I'm doing Prison Architect is where you build a prison and manage an entire population of prisoners. Um, you get paid per prisoner. You get paid based on how well they're looked after, whether they've got a cell, if I remember correctly. And you can end up having riots and all sorts of stuff happening as your, um, as your prison builds up and you end up getting more guards and all that stuff. Right. CEO, yeah, I've already, I know this is, this is just saying every prison needs a warden, so you need to get an office for the warden, set up and hire one. Individual jail cells are expensive, especially early on when funds are very tight. Save more money by starting with a single holding cell. Now, I sort of go against this advice a little bit and go straight for building a cell block because this gives you access to grants which can let you. It, it builds up a shit lot, well, it builds up a load of income basically and you can hire a lot more guards which keep everything under control. Uh, so get your kitchen and canteen up and running and many items require a water connection. So you need water and uh, yeah, a pump station and a power station or a generator. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Read the CEO's letter. Um, yeah, delete that. Okie dokie. So these dudes are going to get on with it. You can I stick it in this mode because the time goes quite it goes quite slow per day because this is the income you get per day. So I'm uh, my balance is normally run based off uh, you know grants and stuff that you get for basically a grant is basically where you fill in it's the equivalent of a quest, basically, in this. You you do a certain number of objectives, 
and you end up being able to cash in for money. So now I need an, uh, a front entrance on this thing. So I want this nice and symmetrical and so let's put a... Where's the double door now? Uh, ch -ch 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 rooms and... Oh wait, it's probably going to be objects. Yeah, there we go. It's been like two weeks so you got to let me off there. And you press R to rotate and I want to get that lined up. Oh no, it's a dodgy... Oh, I wanted that square in the centre there. But I guess that's not going to happen. Oh well. Let's put one up there. And... Yeah, there we go. So these dudes are going to just fix it up. And what I'm going to do is build an out building. Because that's what I do. I connect like an outside building to the prison. And this will house the generators and the water pumps. This pe these pieces of wood can be used, you can either sell them and you get a quick boost in cash or you can keep them for the later in the game where you can end up building a workshop and your dudes can make objects. I've not actually gotten that far yet myself to the point where my convicts are, you know, being productive and actually earning money but, you know, it's something to save up in the future. Because that's what I normally, I normally put a generator room sort of there and a storage room next to it. I suppose I could put a storage room over here instead. Like, it's a bit of a large storage room. But right, there we go. Because you've got to try and sort of make sure that it's all enclosed. So I'm probably going to fix a fence up here. Multiple fences maybe even. And put a perimeter fence around the whole lot once I've got the basic structure up. Because uh, I think fences, standard fence is free. So you can just go mad with it. And yeah, I think that's going to be enough for that. So now we need to just go around and put the doors on. So um, staff only is, would be enough here, I think. Because I don't think any convict is going to get to this point. So... If he did, I failed as a prison warden or whatever. Prison architect. Look at all them pieces of wood. And I think, yeah, they're worth 200 each. Look. 100, 100, 250. Oh, it's a stack. So the are oh, right, okay. They're worth different amounts. So we just spent about 10k there. Or 6k. Did we start off with 30 grand? I can't remember. <laughs> Basic detention centre. Um... Turn on an empty field. Turn an empty field into a functioning prison. This government contract gives you the funds necessary to build the absolute minimum for facilities for your first prison. So it's get a holding cell, a shower, a yard, a kitchen, a canteen, hire at least two guards, and hire at least two chefs. Cool. Okay, and they'll give us 20k if we accept that up front. Good. Right. So now we want to close that and get a Jenny up and running. Right, let's set this as the power room. I think you have to do it as a separate room here. I'm. So, how have I forgotten that, what these options are now? There's a sto There we are. There's a storage room. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. And now we want to get the generator up and running uh, it's going to be under utilities and the power station it looks like we've got one in storage anyway so we don't have to pay much, anything for it good and one capacitor and 20 pieces of electric cable oh we've got one water pump as well that's awesome and electrical cable We'll see. I don't know whether the these have to be connected, but I'll put that there anyway. Right. These dudes are going to get that up and running. And we should have power to the entire system. So let's just roll this out up here. That should be enough. Cost 70 quid to do that. I wonder if you can switch that to pound, from dollars to pounds. That would be better. There we go. 
Although it's nearly filled up the entire storage shed. Okay. Right, so what I'll do with this, I'll probably make this like a canteen, visitor centre sort of room. I don't know. But there's the generator online. Awesome. We have power. Unlimited power. <laughs> right, now... Whoa, that's a lot of logs, bro. Each worth quite a bit of money, so I guess, you know, the equivalent of Fort Knox here. Instead of gold, we've got logs, so I guess we could sell them if things get dire. Right, so let's build the rooms up. We want to get a an interior brick wall. And I've got the measurements here. What's the measurements for an actual office? I've got the measurements for a holding cell, because I've got it down to a bloody... Uh, calculation or whatever um office four by four so that means four and then you have to add two so it's basically six by six so it would be five across yeah from the wall okay so that's one two three four five so that would be one two three four five one two three four wait i don't want to do that Shit, they built that quick. Two, three. There we go. So that's. That would be. This will be a cleaning room, then, I guess, for the uh, janitors. I guess I'll just put that there, like that. And. Slow that down a bit. I think they're going too quick. That prisoners are going to be here in. In like a couple of hours. Okay, and we've got no holding cells. Great. Fast forwarding too much. Alright, let's turn this into a holding cell dead quick then. And that's not going to work because I haven't got the fundamental foundation for a um, for a room. Auto saving. Right, there we go. And let's get a double door here. There we go. Let's put this door here, that door there. And then let's allocate these as being offices. Where is it now? Do we do we do staff room no solitary? There it is, office right in front of my face. There we go. Right, so we need an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet. Okay. Office desk, where are you now? Expand that. Filing cabinet. Office desk. And an office chair. There we are. Awesome. So that will be the warden's office. We got 42k as well, so there's no reason why we won't do really well here. And this needs clearing up severely. Right, okay, let's turn this bit into a quick holding cell. My game, minute, what the hell happened then? Do you see that? Glitchiness. I think the game tried to minimise, but I clicked or something. I don't know. Um, this would be... Yeah, we could make this whole area into a holding cell, like, from like the get-go. So let's just build a room on this side keep that wall there and we will put a an object where is it now double jail door let's put another jail door here and one here I think we've just ruined the plans to put an office on that side so yeah right this is let's speed that up a bit Actually, no, no, no. We've got to place the orders for the other office. Or we could just hire the janitor straight away now. A janitor. The warden, I mean. 200 per day. We've got enough for him. Yep. Let's get four guards, I think. Actually, let's get five. Round it off. Right, what are these du dudes on about now? Why are they... Why are they hanging about outside? 
just guarding the place, I guess. Right, let's just turn this place into a quick holding cell. So at least the prisoners have got somewhere to go. There's a bag of trash there. Holy shit. What are they doing? Already mess everyone. Right, let's go with a... I think you can add extra things to these rooms to make the, uh, the convicts more uh, comfortable. So we'll have a toilet and a bench in here. I think you can put beds in there as well. So, and we'll put a shitter in the corner there. It's not very comfortable at the minute, but I think... Let's just put bed there, and bed there, bed there, and a bed there. Four beds, okay. A TV will keep them happy as well. Okay. There you are. So now they're not going to be all super duper pissed off. They'll just deal with it. Now we've got to hook up the shitter to everything else. So let's send these water pipes in here. And let's break branch off a little one. Let's cover the shit house. And yeah, this is going to be an awesome little prison. I think this will go through to a visitor centre here, so the holding prisoners can go in there. Or it could be like a another office area, buffer zone thingy. So we've got one, two, because that's... Let's just do a quick measurement. One, two, three, four. So we could get rid of this double door, put a single door there, and put a new office block in. Hmm... Wait, we've got offices here, though. We could put them here. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. One. Okay, so we go... Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, I changed my, my mind. I think I'm going to make this into a staff room, then. Actually, no, I'll make this into an office and I'll make this weird L shape that we've got going on here into the staff room. So that would be okay, I think. There we go. Right, we've got a holding cell, we've got guards. That's good. Right, let's get some cleat janitors because the mess will piss people off. Where do we do that again? I can't remember. Bureaucracy, that's the one. Uh, maintenance. Requires a warden and locks six, after six hours. Yeah, let's get... Unlocks the janitor. Okay, let's go for this one. It's going to take six hours to reco uh, research that. Wait, the warden's got his own office, but he's choosing to be in this one. I don't know, is that the... Yeah, the warden... I don't know, did I tell them to go in that office? I have no idea. I think I spawned them in the wrong office, but... Oh, well. There we go. So he's got a nice little office coming along there. Let's give the warden some, like, nice things. Fancy tiles. Yeah, waste money on the warden. Just like real life. <laughs> right, what's going on here? They loads of garbage ready to go. Right, we might need another capacitor at this rate. Well, we are going to need more capacitors at some point, so yeah. That's going to be a thing. Right, I'm just figuring out where we're going to put the first holding uh, cell block. Because I think what I do is make this into a visitors area. Oh wait, no, we need a canteen next. So this will be like a, a hallway, I guess. And at some point, I could put the laundry area there. Oh wait, no, 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 I've forgotten again about a little detail called the bloody shower block. Bloody hell. Keep forgetting. I'm going senile. 
yeah, let's just let's not put a cell door on that because it would mean a guard would have to be there. So let's put that like that. Let's put a drain on the door so that the corridors don't flood. And let's make sure we've got adequate water. Right, rooms. Where's the shower block now? Do we do we do? How come I can't see it? Am I blind? Probably. There we are. Yellow buildings. Buildings are for the convicts. Right. We could put a yard like here. I don't know. We'll we'll. Uh... Oh shit! Prisoner in taking an hour and three minutes. God damn. A little bit nervous. Are they gonna kick off? Are we gonna be in peace? Well, we'll have to find out in the next episode because it's 20 minutes and I'm done at 20 minutes for this episode. Because <laughs> if you're new here, my internet's shite and that's what I have to do. So, yeah. So, if you're new here and you fancy sticking along with me building this prison up, feel free to subscribe and all that shit and leave a like if you're enjoying this series. I will be carrying on because Prison Architect is one of my favourite games at the minute. I love Tycoon games and this is right up my alley. There'll be links and everything to the next episode or random videos or whatever at the end. I'll probably remember to annotate them, although I can't guarantee yet the thing. Anyway, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.